Thanks, Daddy. Brenda told me about the race. Why you gotta drive like that, Dale? Your daddy don't wreck. Daddy's got a better car, Mom. If you don't have the wheels, sometimes you gotta scare people a little. Intimidate them. How's Mama doing? It's hard for her, Christmas without your daddy. Yeah, I know. How's Kelly? Dale Jr., they doing all right? They miss their daddy. Just tell them I'll be home soon. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How you doing? <sighs> Bill Fredericks called. Uh, he said you took out a three-week loan to fix your car. He said payment's due on Monday. Tell me about that, too. Could we just not get into this, please? I know it's Christmas, and I know how hard you've been working, but it's because you have two families, Dale. I mean, you've got us, and you've got racing. Place third or better in every race, and I will, Brenda. Because third or feet is in fourth one. Charlotte Motor Speedway, right? <laughs> That's right. How are you? I'm gonna tell you what, sir. You should be as good as your daddy. The way you wrecked Deke out there so you'd finish in the money, that <laughs> took some balls, son. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Earnhardt, you better watch your ass. Earnhardt! You're in dead, man! Good to see you, Humpy. Guys off, Earnhardt. You damn near run over me a couple times today. So I guess you pissed at me too. Well, what the hell do you care? We ain't out there to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Name's Neil Bonnet. Good to meet you, Neil. Where are you from? Hueytown. Hueytown. The Alabama gang, huh? Bobby Allison, get you into racing? No, well, I got into racing because there's uh, less competition than in pipe fitting. Go again? Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of fellas wanting my job as a, as a pipe fitter. But, I mean, nobody wants to drive that piece of crap I've been racing. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, 
you know, you're going to have to deal with old Deke sooner or later. I mean, I doubt he'd waste you, what with there being a witness and everything. He'll be fine. We'll yeah. buy him a beer. Yeah, he'll be all right. Brenner? Hello? Brenner? I'm home, babe. Dale, Kelly. Daddy finished in the money. You know that there's more chickens in the world than there are people. Why couldn't there be more deer? Dale Earnhardt, man of no words. What is on your mind, boy? I swear, when I'm driving, I can see the air flowing over the car ahead of me. But the car I'm driving is a loser because it don't matter what I see. Ain't nobody racing Winston Cup without big money behind them. Man, I ain't nothing but a stroker. For that, I blew two marriages. You can see the air. Oh, God, here comes some lookout. <laughs> Crazy bastard. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? The funny thing is, the day Brandon left me, I actually won some money racing. Let it go, Dale. Man, I've been on the track with you. You're so damn determined, it's scary. Man. All you need to break is one chance to race the cup. Race you to the truck. Hey! Hey! hey. Don't make me shoot you! Hello? Yeah? Yes, sir, yeah. Yeah, you, you bet I'll be there. All right, then, thank you. Bye. Although the Charlotte Motor Speedway has gone through a three and a half million facelift, a lot of the main ingredients for the World 600 remain unchanged. At 600 miles, it's the longest NASCAR race on the calendar, and round this one and a half mile, pretty bumpy track, it's a tremendously grueling test of man and machine. Did uh, Cronkite happen to mention that he mortgaged his house to build this car? He mentioned it. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you, you know what a, what a fan I was of your daddy. I go all the way back to the dirt tracks with Ralph Earnhardt. Yeah, most of those boys are just trading paint out there. Not your daddy, no, sir. He had built himself a race car, and he was crafty. Shoot, they put a bounty on him. Yeah, he was a great driver, you know? One of the best. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, fine. I'll tell you what, Mr. Wheeler, Cronkite told me I wrecked his car and I both out of a job. I know I ain't gonna get but one shot at this. And I don't know how I'm supposed to win. I'm worried about wrecking. Well, how would your daddy answer that? <laughs> Here's the field, Dale. Pretty good. What are you doing? The hell, I'm just trying to win. Keep your cool now. This 
battle. Here's Petty up in it. Tommy, who's that driving number 96? That's Dale Earnhardt. Local boy. Uh, here? Charlotte? No, Kannapolis. It's uh, just up the road. Kannapolis is a mill town, you know. Yeah, that whole town makes cannon towels. We call them lint heads. <laughs> There's no way out of there. The only way out is through racing. Young Mr. Earnhardt here has already logged 17 straight wins on the dirt tracks around here. Kill somebody. Yeah. Who was that stroker in 96? Drives like a damn moonshiner. No respect for nobody. Come on, Walter. He ain't worth the trouble. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Kelly Belly. <laughs> Good, Daddy. Did you win? If I won, I'd be over in Victory Lane, wouldn't I? Thanks for the tickets. You know, I, I have to go. I'm, I'm late. Now, y'all be good. Okay? Have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll make sure that she gets to school on time, OK? Yeah. Bye. Bye. You signed this call with Daryl? I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, get in the car, kid. Kelly, where's Dale? I don't know, Daddy. Dale! Junior! Dale! Junior! Jerry, you see Dale? Nope. So are you really from Hickory? Why do you find that so hard to believe? Just listen to this accent. You know, just the words you use. Kind of threw me. What does your daddy do? Guess. What do you think? Lawyer. <laughs> he was a race car driver like my Uncle Tommy. Tommy Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's your uncle. Mm -hmm. I traded paint with him a few times. Pretty rough in the sheet metal, but a man can drive. So can you. Having a shot today and blew it. You'll get another one. You figure? Why not? NASCAR's got to have talent, and you're magic on the asphalt. Using the draft to get through traffic, getting on and off the pit road under the green, accelerating down the chute. You know your road. <laughs> I bet she can fish and hunt, too situation calls for it, why not? I don't mind getting my hands dirty. See that guy? That's the king. That's Richard Petty right there. Hey, Richard. Pretty neat, huh? Excuse me? Mr. Earnhardt? Yeah. Puppy Wheeler wanted me to introduce myself. My name's Rod Osterlin. Hey, Rod, how are you? Well, how are you? Good. Grab a stump. Yeah, yeah. Sure. This is Teresa. Hello. My kids, Kelly and Dale Jr. Hi, Teresa. Kids, listen, I've started a new company, Osterlin Racing. You a uh, sportsman series? No. Nope. Winston Cup. That's when I saw you out there today, pretty impressive. Thanks. You know, until you, until you spun out. Yeah. Thanks, Rod. Why'd you try to pass on the outside of a turn like that? Well, I saw some daylight, figured I could win. Fair enough. But isn't coming in second better than wrecking? No. Second place, just the first loser. It's nice meeting you, Dale. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Mm. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. What are you doing? That's not Mr. Osterlin, that's Mr. Opportunity. He only knocks once, Dale. Go get him.
Growing up around race cars, you know, you start driving before you can even reach the pedals. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I started racing when I was 17 and uh, pretty much been driving in my sleep ever since. Yeah? Well, remind me never to ride with you. <laughs> hey, look. You gonna drive for me? There's somebody you gotta meet. I may not have the experience of the other owners, but I've hired the best people I can find. Like my crew chief, and the man can't read or write, but he's a genius with a race car. Jake! Jake! Hey, I want you to meet Dale Earnhardt. Dale? Jake L. Howdy. You see this thing right here? The upper control arm. That's what we got in this car right here. And it's groaning in the turns. If we get in the corners of Talladega, that thing's gonna break. And you see this one right here? That ain't gonna break. Different metal. I put that thing in this car right here. Mr. Osterlin gets me a good enough driver, I'm gonna be wearing diamonds. I'm talking about biggest horse turds. Well, all right. <laughs> the kid to watch. This kid Earnhardt of the Austerlin number two, the car out of California, the driver from North Carolina. Whoa, it's close. Just touching bumpers. Pulls out of the draft and right into the front. Do you ball. like racing Winston Cup, Earnhardt? Wait. I say if you do, you better start kicking some tail because Walter's fixing to send you back to the dirt track, son. Still wheel to wheel. That's right. Let him know you're there, Earnhardt. Today, NASCAR announced that second-generation driver Dale Earnhardt has been named Rookie of the Year. That for gang get it, huh? Damn. Look at the carving on that stock. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, man, I stare at that in the catalog of the year. Just wondering if I ever save enough to get me one. Huh? Guess I gotta get me one too now, Dale. Damn, now I gotta get me two of these. It's <laughs> about <laughs> yours, Downey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Austin Run Racing Team, led by Dale Earnhardt, won five races en route to their first championship. <laughs> Creeping up on you. You ain't hearing footsteps on me, are you? Just your size 12. Hey, I'll tell you about losing some sleep. Everything I put together, your life depends on. It. You want to know the secret of being a great driver? Hmm? You have flat out got to believe that it ain't gonna happen to you. I don't care how bad that wreck is, you're gonna walk away from it because you're so damn tough they couldn't castrate you with a chainsaw. But I'll tell you what else, too, right now. You best be willing to pay that price.
know, I bet you within 10 years, NASCAR will get better ratings than baseball. Who knows, maybe even in five years. <laughs> Why you gotta hold on to your name, Dale. Don't sell it off. Someday I might earn you more than racing. What do you mean? Caps and t-shirts? Why not? You won the Winston Cup last year, your second season. Who's ever done that? <laughs> you know what? What? I don't even need a lawyer. Or a business manager. Okay, take it easy, big fella. You're here to watch your kids, not kiss your girlfriend. Dale, come in here. You. All right, listen up. I'm gonna stand right here on the next lap. I want you to drive between me and this rail. You hear? You all right? Let's go. I'll teach you something here, Dale. Let's go. Go on. You can't do this, Dale. You're scaring him. I'm trying to teach him something, Teresa. Teach him what? You drive NASCAR, he drives a go-kart. He's just a little boy. How do you think you're making him feel? No, just want him to do it right, that's all. He's just a little boy. Doesn't he have time to prove that he's a man? You? Who? Your daddy? Jake? You hear Austin selling a team, this J.D. Stacy guy? Huh? This is cowboy made his money in coal mining machinery, whatever. I'll tell you what, this guy don't know the first thing about racing, man. Well, maybe he can learn. I hear he wants to win himself a Winston Cup. Oh, yeah? Well, too bad. 